Hey everybody, Mark here from Pomworks. Just thought we'd share with you our latest project in Serena in North Queensland, located about half an hour south of Mackay. We took the drive up there, near on a thousand kilometres, saw many great sights along the way, including miles upon miles of cane fields. So Mackay is sort of known, this region is known as the Sugar City, and it certainly didn't disappoint as far as cane fields go. But anyway, this neglected pond, let's go and take a look at it as we arrived at our destination. Okay, so this pond was built about 20 years ago and uh, it has unfortunately failed the um, concrete. Uh, it was a combination of concrete uh, with a with a uh, HDPE liner underneath it um, and also liner over the top again. And those linings have failed. No doubt we've got some cracks through the concrete here and uh, quite a substantial stream. This one, there's a fair bit of elevation in here to work with. We're gonna rip all this out and rebuild it and uh, get it all done as set up as an ecosystem pond. So we'll have our biofall sitting up the top here, um, up there beside Sean. And of course we'll have a skimmer sitting down the bottom here and lots of waterfalls and stream work and everything coming through in between. <laughs> So, as I've previously said, this has got a liner underneath it and also a liner over the top. Now, this is, um, to the best of my knowledge, this is actually a PVC liner. Could even possibly be, there's a bit of a bit of a texture in there, but, um, so yeah, but look, just to give you a bit of an idea, um, this has been exposed to the sun and you can see there just, it quite literally just breaks up so easily, loses all its flexibility. Um, so yeah, PVC, if you're going to build a fish pond, do yourself a favour, get something that's going to last the distance. Um, this has been relined a couple of times now in an effort to try and uh, get it water right. and uh, it's still failing as I've been pulling back the material, there's a few cracks around the area as well. So yeah, um, look in saying that, 20 years ago. This is the way we built ponds before we knew the ecosystem, the aquascape ecosystem method. So, uh, but yeah, um, unfortunately this one's failed, so it's uh, time to renew it. So of course, with the basis of this old structure being concrete, we had a lot of removal to do and uh, a lot of concrete cutting and jackhammering to remove all the concrete from this old pond to enable us to uh, start again fresh. Okay, so with this, uh, system being built about 20 years ago there wasn't the techniques of building waterfalls that we have around today and uh, i've just been through here uh, pulling a lot of this rock out and everything starting to clear up so that we can uh, make a start on this um, this has all been filled with mortar so it's uh, been very easy to get into it with the crowbar and actually break all that mortar away and start to prep it all so that we can put all that rock aside and uh, and it's breaking out very clean so we'll be able to reuse virtually all of that rock and uh, get it back in here and create a uh, lovely little waterfall. So another aspect of this job that uh, we didn't really expect was trying to obtain rock and while we'd spoken to a few people about access inquiries to get to rock we had problems finding the right stuff. So we got diverted to another quarry where we actually sorted some rock out and then discovered we were unable to get it delivered until the following week. So, thanks to Blue River Landscapes, they come through and uh, were able to supply us with our rock in the end. So we ended up with quite a good selection of rock, various sizes and shapes, mostly all basalt. There was a little bit of a mix, a couple of pieces of granite in there, but this allowed us to uh, start rocking in our waterfalls and stream.
Okay, Pom people, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. We're finally wrapping up here in Serena. This has been, uh, oh, the weather up here has been glorious. Uh, we were dripping with sweat this morning. The humidity is just um, <laughs> great. I, I love it in this, uh, this part of the world. Anyway, I'm gonna spin this camera around, give you all a bit of a look at what we've created up here and what we started with compares to what we have now. Okay, and just as luck would have it, the clouds moved over the top of the, <laughs> the clouds moved away from the sun. So uh, there's a bit of extra glare to go with it. So uh, we're gonna pond in here. Now the water's still clearing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the gravel was really dirty. Um, but uh, believe you me, I think pretty much overnight, we gave this a really good washout too. So our pond's about four meters by three meters in here. We've got a lovely little waterfall coming down through here. There's also a little mystery pool just tucked inside there as well. Just for a little bit of uh, something different. Up under the bridge, water running back and forth and uh, followed by a series of other falls coming up through here. So look at that. And uh, some nice tall boulder up here. Uh, going with a, just a slight Japanese influence. And, uh, and there we go, a little bit of a top building area up there as well. Probably only about three metres by two metres, that one. But uh, yeah, so these uh, plants, um, look, the way everything grows up here in North Queensland, I've still got a bit of rubbish to clear up yet. Uh, the way everything grows up here in North Queensland, um, from what the owner here has told me, in about six weeks' time, these will all be overhanging again. So a uh, little bit of rain, a little bit of wet and good weather. And, uh, and yeah, they all these plants will be hanging back out. So that'll really soften this edge up. I'm looking forward to seeing some finished photos um, of it in about six weeks time. She's promised me she's gonna send me some through. And, uh, and I know that uh, she's out there watching this video now. So thank you, Fiona. We've uh, really enjoyed doing this job for you. And uh, I hope it brings you many, many, many hours of endless enjoyment. That's it for us on this one, guys. Have a fantastic day, have a fantastic week, and we'll catch you on the next project. And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.